Thank you very much, Laura. We're going to take a, a little redirection for a second. We were trying to get a video up this morning by Marvin Berkowitz on character education. It's just a few minutes, and hopefully we can uh, get that set to play now. Marvin Berkowitz is a professor of character education at the University of Missouri-St. Louis and the author of, of a chapter on uh, character education for Earth Ed. Suppose you had to choose between walking through one of two doors, each leading to a different world. One door leads to a world of people who are caring and ethical, but haven't spent a day in school. In the other world, everyone is highly educated and brilliant, but selfish and antisocial. So which door would you choose? I think it's a no-brainer. Teddy Roosevelt once said, to educate a person in mind and not in morals, is to educate a menace to society. This suggests that when you prioritize the purposes of education, it's dangerous to put academic achievement at the top. Yet that is precisely what we've done in the US for at least the past half century. Our current approach is like telling teachers that their sole job is to load factoids into kids' brains. We've become fixated on the idea of schools purely as college prep and workforce development institutions. We've forgotten that they're also about helping kids flourish as whole human beings and future citizens. Productive members of society are not simply smart people who have lots of factoids in their brains. In teaching students while serving their best interests, nothing is more important than the formation of moral character. Think deeply about the kind of people our society is raising and educating. There's no future without children, but there's no moral future without children of character. It's up to schools and concerned citizens to contribute to this critical mission. We'll live in a far better world if we take this to heart.